All right, so uh, let's do some more fun stuff here. Well, not fun, but actually this is beginning of a, a blender journey here. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be submitting our SVG, okay, the shapes that we created in Inkscape, the ones that we just prepared, into the Clender. So what is the Clender? It's just a <laughs> term I totally made up, which stands for Cloud Blender. All right, we are going to submit the file into the cloud, and we're going to process it. We're going to cut those shapes so they're no longer uh, just two-dimensional shapes laying on top of each other. Now the ones on top are going to punch through the ones on the bottom, okay? Um, we're going to do a lot of stuff up there in the cloud, which was explained a lot in the theory and the workflow, and uh, some more stuff will be explained as we move forward. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, you are going to need, okay, um, a Google account. And in the notes, the description for this uh, show, um, you're going to see a link uh, for a Google form. And when you click on that link, if you're not signed in Google, um, and I would recommend you use Chrome for this, if you're not signed in, it's going to ask you to sign in. Now, if you don't have a Google account, you're going to need to create one. Sorry, no ifs, ands, buts about it. Um, we need to control access to this form so we don't get completely spammed and overwhelmed um, and we don't get dosed. So if you don't know what that is, it's a denial of service attack. Anyway, so you need to sign in. Once you sign in, you will get this form, which is a Google form. If you um, have any done anything, Google forms are awesome. You can do them for a lot of different things um, outside of, of course building. I'd recommend you look into them if you ever need to do like surveys or other stuff, but I digress. Really simple here, guys. You're just going to go in. You need to put your email in here. Now, this does not need to be your Google email. It can be any email. Okay, so you can see that I am signed in here, but I'm putting a different email address. This is important because the, if you want to call it, updates on what's happening with this process are going to be sent to this email address. This is also where you're going to get sent a link on how to access the mesh file, the mesh blend that comes as a result of this. So if you put something fake in here, you ain't getting your stuff, folks. Okay, so put a, your real email address in here. Course, put your course name in here. So Hershey Country Club. I'm going to tell you right now, okay, um, if you're processing uh, the course several times, and trust me, I will. I sometimes will send a single course through this 20, 30 times. I kid you not. Um, if you put the same name in and you've already run it through, it's just going to overwrite it. So you can do that. So I don't need to do Hershey Country Club 1, Hershey Country Club 2, 3, 4. However, on occasion, okay, you'll send this form in and your SVG will get hung up in the cloud. There's a process in there, and occasionally it does hang up. Um, if that's the case, if you if you think you has an you have an SVG that's getting hung up in the cloud and that's sitting up there and it's either processing or not processing correctly, but it hasn't completed, give this a different name or else you're going to hose everything for everybody else. So at the end of the day, it's fine. You can give these different names. Um, I, I tend to like to keep the same name and overwrite. However, if I know that I just submitted one and it's not working correctly, then I'm going to name this something like Hershey Country Club one or two. OK, and it's fine if you just want to give this a bunch of different names as you go, go for it. But for the case of this work, I'm going to do Hershey CC for Hershey Country Club. Now, you remember in the theory when we talked about how all this stuff works, I said, hey, when you do a um, your whole 99, your mesh 99. OK, that remember that one shape that encircles all your Inkscape shapes. Actually, I should. Oh, I can't show you here. One second. Through the magic of editing, I bring you the SVG. So this, remember, this is our whole 99 around the outside here, okay, our mesh 99. Remember I said you can really assign it anything you want, okay? It's not important to decide then. Yeah, so this is where you're going to do it. So here, my mesh 99, which was that pink thing there, I'm going to sign it rough. Now you can see you can make that whole thing fairway, semi, deep, bunker, concrete. <laughs> you can make a big, giant concrete golf course if you want. I'm going to do rough. That's what I decided. Now, you'll also remember I said for the area that's not covered, okay, for the rest of your terrain, remember that big giant terrain that we had talked about, this area on the outside? For me, that was 2,591, and you had your own. It was that really important number we talked about several times. The rest of it, okay, will get filled in by this, our outer mesh, our auto outer that we played and we just talked about in the theory. Yeah. See, everything's coming together now, huh? Um, and I'm going to make that deep rough, okay? 
Now here, what's our file? It's our SVG, our no sat. It's important. It needs to be our no sat. So I'm going to do browse. And uh, <laughs> uh, you guys are going to know what this is later on. Uh, this is some funny stuff that I'm doing in B2B. Uh, let me see here. I have to browse to my PC, my D drive, my OPCD projects, Hershey Country Club, Hershey OPCD. And under here, under terrain, I did Hershey Country Club tutorials, my no sat. Bang, there it is. It was 318K, right? Um, there is a file size limitation, which you should not hit as long as you removed your satellite, okay? And then you got to uh, agree to the license, okay? Again, there's a lot of people who are really hard on these tools, okay? Don't abuse them. Um, we're assuming that you are not building a course for profit here. Um, if you are building this and you're trying to make some money by doing this for somebody else, you need to get in touch with DPR, DP Roberts, and get permission to do that. So you agree that you're using this free of use and you're not making, you're doing this for non-commercial, non-profit reasons, okay? These guys spent so much time on these tools. Please don't take advantage of them. I agree. Submit. Bang. We're into the cloud now, okay? That gets submitted. And at this point, that's it. We submitted in this video. On to the next one where I'm going to kind of show you as this progresses and goes through the cloud workflow.